war is coming as well as the chip. I want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. It's your brother Chana coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechach Wadash. And um, I'm going to do a quick little video. This is a walk and talk video. Uh, just about what's going on uh, in the state of Israel uh, with the Palestinians and um, the state of Israel are preparing, you know, for more of a offensive. You know, so many people have died and they're pushing it on the main, you know, mainstream news and all that. And uh, we, we know what it is. You know, this is the, the global elite uh, ramping up their agenda. This is all part of their agenda. But you have to understand that the chip is coming. OK, uh, America is not going to go into a full fledged all out war, nuclear missiles flying until the, uh, the Karagma, the subdermal devices here. OK, now they're going to use this to collapse economies. They're going to use this to bring in uh, digital currencies. This is this is exactly what they're going to do. This is what they're doing in. Ukraine, as we speak, Ukraine uh, government is fully digital. Ukraine uses a CBDC. OK, they use an app. It's, it's a, like an all purpose app called the DIA app where everything all, you know, pretty much everything is there. And uh, they want to do that, you know, here in America. Let me bring out this is going to be quick, you know, because we're, you know, we, we know it's going to ramp up. We know. All right. Uh, the draft is coming. We know, you know, greater wars are coming. It, it's not going to slow down. So you're going to have war in Ukraine. Uh, you're going to have war, you know, between Israel and different nations. You know, war between China and it's, it's just going to be war after war to crash all these economies to bring the people to their, their knees. Uh, and then ultimately to do what? To, to bring the karagma, the chip. That's what all this is about. Okay. Remember, all wars are banker wars. This is Matthew 24. And I mean, this is, I mean, everything that the, he the everything the Heavenly Father said through Yahweh Shai and the prophets are coming to pass. Uh, Matthew 24 and 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Messiah or Christ. And shall deceive many amongst all uh, war, amongst uh, uprisings and all these things that are going on. Uh, the love of many wax and cold. You also you have false messiahs, false prophets. All these things are happening simultaneously. OK, because we're in that time and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. So we're hearing and seeing wars that are actually taking place. OK, different conflicts between nations. And rumors of wars, rumors of war with China, rumors of war with a like a kinetic face to face war with Russia, rumors of war, a uh, NATO going, uh, you know, ramp it up and going to war, rumors of war with uh, China, rumors of war with Korea, rumors of war with Iran. Right. Saudi Arabia. OK, the BRICS nations, rumors of war Well, you have economic wars, not just actual wars but you have economic wars okay you got class wars you have race wars right you have wars that are going to come against the government the scriptures speak about that so we're hearing <clears throat> and we're seeing and you know we're hearing of these rumors okay and they're getting louder and, and some of these things are actually coming to pass okay and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled see we're not we're not choked by these things. OK, we under, we understand these things for what it's worth. OK, this is the Heavenly Father pretty much getting ready to close the curtain. <clears throat> We're about to come to the climax of the, uh, of the story of Jacob's trouble. OK. Give me a second. Because this is all going to lead to Jacob's trouble. Right. 
uh, the, the, the different wars, the draft that's coming, uh, the hyperinflation. Hyperinfl Out here in California, gas is literally ridiculous. It's minimum $6 a gallon, okay, going up to 7 okay? So uh, food, food is double since it was from before 2020, okay? 2020 to now, food has doubled in prices, uh, the basic necessities, okay? Uh, the housing market, everything's at the brink of collapse, okay? Because we're in the end of the world. But remember, all these wars, these wars are, are going to come to pass, but we know for sure that things are not really going to get super hot until that karagma is released. And they're going to use certain of these, these wars to actually facilitate that, right? But the missiles are not going to be shot off. America is not going to be destroyed. We're not getting out of here until that karagma is pushed worldwide. You're going to also have um, different... Uh, <clears throat> Di different diseases that they're going to release and it's all going to see they're hitting you on every side they're hitting you this way they're hitting you that way they're hitting you this way but the scriptures tell us not to be afraid okay for us not to be in, uh not to be troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet right the end is not yet because certain things namely the, the karagma has to come to pass we have to we have to see the karagma it has to be made mandatory that's when jacob trouble is going to come okay a lot because jake is going to buck up against that you're going to have you're going to have more incidents with uh the police that's going to spark up more racial tension more uh uh incidents with uh the, you know esau that's going to spark up racial tension so there there goes your your certain race wars okay it says for nation shall rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines so in the midst of all this, famines are coming, and this and, and this is the perfect, this is the uh, the perfect plot, because when war happens, famines happen as well, and more people die of famine than you can ever uh, kill in war. Okay, and the elites, the wicked elite, they know that, so they're gonna, so they're gonna use famine, which it's really it's all the heavenly Father doing all these things. Okay, he's using. Uh, you know, he's he's pretty much manifesting all his prophecies. So there's going to be um, there shall be famines and pestilences. OK, you're going to have these different variants that are actually going to be, uh, you know, people are going to really be dropping dead. That's going to give the government excuse to bring in more military law, more draconian laws. OK, more uh, uh, pretty much the police state and everything. All these things are uh, literally on the books already. It says in earthquakes in diverse places, you're going to have different earthquakes, messing up infrastructure, swallowing up people, destroying, destroying um, uh, uh, supply chain lines, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, main roads where, you know, goods are, are, are trafficked. All right, earthquakes going to destroy that. Then there's going to be a, there's going to be a lack in, in, um, in workers to work it and uh, fix it. OK, all these are the beginning of sorrow. See, all these are the beginning of sorrows because it's going to be one thing after another, one thing after another war, disease. Right. That means lockdowns are coming. Then you're going to have earthquakes. That means hey, climate climate uh, lockdowns are coming. Right. Curfews. Then you're going to have to have wartime rations. So people are not going to be able to eat the foods that they usually eat. They were able to, especially here in America, that they were able to, able to eat, okay, um, liberally, okay, which is going to bring in famine. Then you have all, then you have the crisis at these borders where you have a, a whole flood of so-called immigrants coming in, okay, which which is is all to collapse this society and to bring you to your knees so you can accept the the C to the H to the I to the P, the karagma, Revelation 13 and 16, okay. This is what this is all about. Okay, all these different wars, this is what it's about. Okay, just like World War I, just like World War II, it was all it was all orchestrated. Okay, ultimately by the Heavenly Father, but the Heavenly Father uses men on the earth. The king's hand the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. Okay? So we're not, we're not troubled by these things. Yeah, this is great. 
you know, and we're going to speak upon this, but this all plays into prophecy, okay? There's going to be famines. There's going to be pestilence. The, the scriptures speak about uh, 2 Ezra 16, 2 Ezra 15, okay? There's going to, uh, you're going to have um, riots. You're going to have sedition, okay? This upcoming election, you, who knows what's going to happen? You're going to have assassinations. You're going to have people coming after different government officials. It's going to be all out held. You're going to have different foreign troops have to come into America. The FEMA coffins is coming back up, okay? <laughs> they're going to have to, uh, they're going to use different, uh, um, what's it called, wartime policies, wartime uh, laws in which they can suspend the Constitution, okay? They can, they can pretty much do whatever the hell they want, uh, bring in martial law, okay? Wartime laws, okay? They can, they can grab people up anytime they want, okay, under whatever, just because they, just because they want, and you can never be seen again, okay, this, this, this is the time that we're in, give me a second, okay, let me, let me go to uh, Joel, this is Joel 3, and nine, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. And, and what do you know? Who are the main nations that are actually uh, preparing for war? Who, who are main nations? It's the Gentiles. It's the heathen. Jake, Jake, uh, you, don't, you don't really see Jake in uh, none of these nations. You don't see Nigeria. And Esau, Edom, the powers to be, they make sure, they make sure that uh, our people don't have... Um, a, a, a viable military, a military that can combat anybody. So they keep they. It's all about suppression. You gotta you want to suppress your enemy. So you don't see the West Coast of Africa with a with a, a high level military fighter jets and uh, high level equipment. You don't see Central and South America with high level um, with high level military. Okay, they got a little. They can't they can't mount a, a, a fence. But what? But who do you? But who do you see with high-level militaries getting ready to getting ready to go to battle? You see Russia, you see America, you see Iran, you see China, okay? You see uh, the state of Israel, okay? Iran is is funding the, the Palestinians. They a hey, Iran is is nobody to play with. They're a uh, they're a war they're a war uh, uh, you know that um, a warlike people. Okay, those were the um, those were the, uh, the 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 Persians. Okay, those those were the Persians, and 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 they they ain't nobody to play with. And the Mosai is gonna bring them to that because they want to take out they want to take out the uh, the small hat. They know about the small hat. Okay, all these nations know about the small hat and the small hat's orchestrating these things. So they're gonna it's gonna the Mosai is gonna, is setting it up to where. The small hat's gonna be deceived, okay? And 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 then no the missiles is gonna be fine. But before the missiles fly, again, now there might be a missile hit somewhere, you know. But more so, it's gonna be um, more what they call fifth and sixth generation warfare, okay? Cyber attacks, okay? Um, uh, taking down your grid, you can do more damage, okay? Uh, uh infiltration. Okay, uh, rigging elections. Okay, uh, uh, blocking off your trade routes. That's how that's how it is. That's how it starts until those those uh, missiles are flying. But remember, you have Esau Edom, the, the, the small hat in the back, orchestrating a lot of these things. Okay, orchestrating a lot of these things. Uh, so he so what he he can push a particular type of technology because while all these things are happening. He's going to be pushing these technologies, okay? The the technology to put the, the chip inside your brain, the technology to put the chip inside, you you already know, your forehead or your right hand, okay? That's what's that that's what's coming, okay? So we ain't we ain't tripping, right? Prepare prepare war, proclaim ye this among the gent and we've been, and, and I was going to title this video, we've been speaking about we've been telling you war is coming. OK, proclaim this among the Gentiles. All right. The prophets are telling you, you Gentiles, you, you heathen nations, 
you you going you going into this war okay you going into world war three okay whether you like it believe it or not okay the most high is going to pull you he going he going to yank you okay into this war okay a, a mutual assured destruction but it's not going to go it's not going to go the way that you think it's going to go right the heavenly father y'all bashamal shai he's in control all right and we're here to tell it we're here to tell the whole world whether they like it believe it or not okay it says, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. So this is the reason why these things are happening, if you didn't know. This is, it can all be traced back to biblical prophecy. Don't let, no, don't let anybody fool you, okay? Don't let no man fool you. These things are being done, okay, to fulfill biblical prophecy, all right? But remember, after... After, uh, you know, all these things come to pass and, and, and the, the missiles come, what, what's going to happen? Yahweh Shai is going to come in the midst of that. And they're going to stop everything to do what? They're going to stop everything to fight against the lamb, as the scriptures say. So we have a play by play of what's getting ready to go down, uh, uh, down here on earth. And this is, this is another reason why uh, the, the, the Heavenly Father's uh, men that, that are teaching in sincerity and truth the true prophets it's going to be it's going to be known this is why they're um this is why they're going to be so precious okay they're going to be so precious um in the very near future okay their stock is going to go if you if you will because they're 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 going to be the only ones that know exactly what's going on and the only ones that are going to be protected from all these great evils on earth you got a lot of our people that hear the videos you know and and can quote scriptures and say they believe right and and, and know and, and supposedly are insiders and in, to the heavenly father's knowledge but they but they're not they're not on the good side of the heavenly father okay the true prophets not only they know but they're also on the good side of the heavenly father and they're gonna they're gonna have that protection over them okay during this time of great famine, during this time of great pestilence, during this time of great evil, during this time of great sorrow, okay, during this time of, of great darkness. Because uh, me meanwhile, while all these things are happening, your your um your information, because information is powerful. That's why the, the the powers that be they have to control information. The information that you're gonna be receiving, all right, it's going to be um you're, you're going to be lied to. You're going to be uh, you're going to be deceived and tricked. All right. And the information that you're getting is going to be controlled. He's going to have full control over the Internet. He's going to have full control over the airways. Everything is going to be shut down. The scriptures talk about how the, 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 the doors shall be shut, you know, and those that look out of the windows, you know, uh, the, shall be darkened. The whole the whole, you know. Isaiah, you can go Isaiah um, 24. You can read that. Okay, every door is shut up that no man may come in. Okay, he's going to stop work, and he did it before. So this is not something that can't be done. Okay, and uh, they're going to use these crises, these different crises, to bring 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 in this this war. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, like the weak say i am strong so all these little small nations they're gonna say i'm strong pakistan india iran north korea why because they have the equalizer okay the icbm yet those icbms are not going to be flying until the karagma is pushed on the whole earth okay assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither cause thy mighty ones to come down O lord and who's orchestrating all these things are the mighty ones, the angels. The angels are literally orchestrating. They're on the minds. They're making sure the Heavenly Father's plan goes perfectly. Okay, and nothing, nothing is going, nothing's out of order. Everything is literally in the place that it's supposed to be. Okay, there is no rogue angel. There is no rogue leader. No rogue king. Putin not rogue. The, the, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Proverbs 21 and 1. All right, I'm going to close it there. All right, until next time, shalom to the elect.